You know what? The king of J-Town, the king of the Gaslight Festival is celebrating a big day today and we wanted to celebrate with him because we're going to get a little bit in a little bit into uh, Mark Lampkin. We knew that this was our regular day uh, to meet with him, but today also happens to be his birthday. Yeah, Mark, Mark, we're ready for you. Oh, gosh. Need lighting Hello. matches. Yeah, and you guys are the first oh one to wish gosh. me happy birthday today. I'm Bryce, so excited. No, I, I, mean. can't, I can't get the match. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. And we happy birthday, Mark. Three we're candles so for 53 Today. I'm, I'm a I'm American Association of Retired oh Magazine. Oh my goodness, Get are it. they like reaching Grandpa, out to you now? Grandpa, I'm old, oh it's fun. Oh gosh, you Hey, you know what, I said 53 classic. is the new 33. You're a classic. <laughs> no, you're not. Hey, we love having you on. Oh, and we saw we make it rain money because that's what we do here, right? That's the We're, first time I've made it, been made it rain on. That's great. <laughs> it's, if I was a car, I'd be broken down. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. You All guys right, are I got the two. best. I got two lit. All right. Go ahead and make a wish. All right. I hope I get to be on Great Day Live forever <laughs> with a body of coffee. You're a mess. Yay! Happy birthday, Mark. Thank oh, you guys so my, much. Look at this. You guys are the best. Here. Hold I on. walk in and got the best. Literally, look at this cake. This is the best financial planning cake ever. <laughs> we made it I rain. Love it. You guys are and the best. We made it rain. If it wasn't for COVID, no. I'd hug and kiss you right now. <laughs> Can't do that on TV today. But seriously, happy birthday. Thank you so uh, much. We, it is a treat having you here, right? And I love you. Not only hat. on your birthday. Do you like my little You hat? and your green hat. Look Come on, we're going. <laughs> well, it's like Elizabeth and Brandy who are uh, advertising reps. Here they said, make sure you wear the color of money today, Claudia. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I can it. do it. I can do it. You guys are the oh, best. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, we do have like a serious segment. I have to take <laughs> this off because I laugh. Because uh, we're gonna let you like cut the cake and, and have fun and everything uh, a little bit later. But we did want to bring Mark on for his regular uh, money moment in your segment today. It's, you know, really important topic because I feel like we get to this time of the year and I feel like it's always that checklist time of the year. We're That's entering right. that final quarter. You know, where are you with your tax? Taxes. Do you need to start paying some now? And so we wanted to talk about like those making sure you have those important documents in place, That's like exactly those things right. that you just think, oh, I don't need that. You know, but it's you all, do. listen, procrastination is your worst enemy when it becomes yeah. a senior because tomorrow never comes and people want to do it tomorrow. So there's five things you should have. And the first one, listen, I don't want you to put your children on the spot. Have that advanced directive, that living will. And that tell yeah. that that says if you want something to happen, if quote, pull the plug or or something that you get you're incapacitated and this needs to be somebody that you, you don't trust. Be in that spot. Make that nobody, decision yeah. now. Don't put somebody else on the spot. That's it, the first thing. When you I think a lot of times these law firms what they're doing now is that when you have like that medical directive, they'll go ahead and say, how about we bundle in a couple of things, right? right? Like, you know, do you need power of attorney? Do you need this power of attorney stuff and this other things as well? You can go ahead That's and do exactly that. That's exactly right. Once, yeah. Right? That living will and health care power of attorney are pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Different states are different, but that durable power of attorney needs to specifically say finances and that you can make mm -hmm. financial decisions and that you can make trades, get Not money, etc. So somebody, they, those need to be two distinctly separate things. So that's the second thing is the durable power of attorney for finances. What is the difference between like a will and a revocable trust? So this is the, one of the biggest questions I get. This is one of the biggest questions that people or the biggest things that people get taken advantage of. Not oh. everybody needs a will. Unless your state's over $11 million or tw actually $12 million right now. Oh my. If you're not on your second or third marriages, if you don't have a blended family, if you don't have a special needs, you may not need that that trust that cost eighteen hundred, two, three, four thousand dollars that some people charge. You could be fine with just a will, mm -hmm. but you better have one of them. Or if there's something that you're going into, uh, one of you have health issues mm -hmm. and you're going into a nursing home or assisted living or a large chance, you might want to get that trust because that five year that clock starts ticking. So that could be an issue. But a qualified estate planner, and if you don't have one, I get no kickbacks. Yeah. But I've got you two or direct, three that I can send to you. All right, so let's talk about retirement income plan. This and is my favorite. Will you make it to the age of 100? Speak we are talking about this on Mark Lampkin's birthday. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of birthdays, really this is, you can fact check me on this. Hallmark, how many <laughs> birthday cards do you think that they sold last oh. year for people over the age of 100? Oh, not many. 85,000. Okay, maybe. Can you believe that? But are those jokes? Like, no. Well, <laughs> like a I may get some because <laughs> right? I look 100. But no. <laughs> no, retirement income plan. <sighs> so 80% of women die single, not to bring everybody mm -hmm. down, or either because of health or divorce yeah. or uh, of their husband passing. 
it's most important for a woman to have a written income plan yep. that lasts to age 100. I don't want you to run out of money like my grandmother did. It was, it was hard on the family, and I want women to die with dignity and respect and to do everything they want in life and to have that written plan to make sure that if something happens to your significant other, it, whether it's husband or wife or if you're single, it doesn't matter. Have that written plan that you're going to age 100. Some people from Legacy, they want their last check to bounce if they write, and right. that's fine, I know. right? Yeah. But if you want to leave a legacy and not run out of money, written in complaint. My retirement income analyzer, call us. We'll do it for free for you. Um, and I, it, it's my birthday it's gift to birthday. you. It's his birthday. Why don't you just call Mark that's today right. just to wish him a happy birthday? So I should have just put your cell phone number up there. <laughs> 690-6764, area code 502, not 520. Lampkinwealth.com. Mark, what are you going to do for your birthday? You're the best. What are you going to do? Well, my, my baby daughter. Are you going to go to the Bear Nose Beer Wall? <laughs> I <w> <laughs> I'll do that probably at lunch and have a beer today on yes. my birthday. What the do, heck? Do it. And then Sid's coming over. It was her birthday yesterday. My baby was 25. Oh, I didn't know the and birthdays usually were we, so close together. Usually we go to this restaurant, but we're doing it in because Sydney's pregnant due on I February know, with I little know. Millie being coming. Yes. So this is a family coming over Aww. low key. I'm old. We're going low key and just I having a family like, night. I feel like, you know, this is just You can been, come too. I love it when you invite me to things, <laughs> right? I love that I can call up Mark and say I'm going to Barrow's. I'll for even you. heat like, the swimming pool for you and right? Jack. Hey, please do. <laughs> you know, I feel like you've had a great year, but I think an even better year like coming up, right? Great wait. things happening with family, great things happening with business. It's just a lot of good love, I think, in your business life. Business is right? growing. I've been blessed. It's been fantastic. Great day lives been awesome. This has been fun with you. We've get, uh, I have two grandchildren, I have a wonderful wife. Um, I've been really blessed, and yeah. this, uh, this is the most special birthday yet happy with you guys. Happy birthday, Mark. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, seriously, you should call him and wish him happy birthday. If you're interested in scheduling that visit with Mark, head on over to LampkinWealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.